Hello everyone, you are welcome to my YouTube channel. I am still your girl Chizoba. So in today's video, without wasting much of our time, I am going to show you how you can be able to create a new KDP account that is Amazon KDP account without phone number that is bypassing the OTP authentication. So you know, for, um, as of last week, we have been having issue about OTP being not sent to our phone number if you want to open a new KDP account. So let's try something that I have found and I think it might be beneficial for anyone who wants to open a new KDP account. So go to Play Store. The first step you go to Play Store. Then if you go to Play Store, search on Amazon Shopping. This app that I'm showing to you now, then I have already installed my own. So you install yours, then you open it. You wait for it to load. So you click on new to amazon.com, create an account. The thing is for you to for Amazon to perceive you as a customer so you can be able to create your account with this then you go to your browser so let's go in so <clears throat> you you click on new to Amazon then you input your name the name you want to just all these things you can be able to do it your first and last name In this case put your email don't put your mobile number put your email the email that you want to make use of you input it don't put your phone number You create a password, a very strong password. Then click on verify email. They will send you an OTP in your email. Go to your email that you use to create the account. Then get your OTP there. You copy and you go back and paste it there. Then click on create your Amazon account. At this now you have successfully created an Amazon account. So you go back to any browser of your choice or type in K dp dot dot amazon dot com click on it click on sign in as you are signing just Input the email address that you use to open the account. Don't put phone number. Just input all the details you use to open in that app. Then after that, you click on sign in. Read through this. Read this through um, the KDP terms and conditions. Try your possible best to read it. As I've been saying always try your possible best to read it so after that you click on agree click on agree so you can as you can see at this point we have opened a new kdp account without otp palava 
so let's update the account for us to update the account let me let me show you something click on this update now as you can see they are requesting for two-step verification that is to send you an otp through your mobile number so that's not what you want we have to go back then when you go back you click on this help on your dashboard you click on help so after that this interface will show up so you go to under account and taxes then you click on set up your kdp account click on this set up your kdp account then as you can see another interface has opened this is two step verification you click on learn more click on learn more then when it has opened make sure take your time to read all these things take your time to read all these things very very important so for the purpose of this for the purpose of this video you go to enable two-step verification go to the login and security click on it so as you can see this is the details of your login this is the details of your login your name your email address your password so as you can see this two-step verification you 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 click on turn on click on turn on so are you seeing the interface so you click on get started click on get started so with this you see they are asking us to enter your mobile number remember we want to get an otp without using our phone number so what we are going to use as uh, for this process is what we call the google authenticator app so i tried something before it didn't work but let me try it again if it did not work again i'm going to maneuver again so that you can be able to see what i'm doing so you click on this authentic authenticator app click on that so with this now you can copy this you can copy this you can copy this copy this then go to play store and don't and download google authenticator if you go to play store go to play store this is play store this is play store this is the app you can open it download it open it then you can use this scan a qr code when you have another phone that you can use or you enter or you click on enter a setup key enter a setup key so you can enter your account name as amazon kdp amazon kdp i'm trying to know if it will work again so as you can see the thing is not clicking to paste so i cannot paste it and so if you go back you'll find out that you find out that the the code might might generate another one it might generate another one so that's why i use another phone i use another phone so this i don't know why um i don't know why amazon kdp is now how to get they are now doing how to get so i'm trying to use another phone to 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 know if it will work so this is another phone i'm using another phone to scan this so so i'm going to scan it using another phone i open google authenticator app in another phone then i'm using the other phone to to scan this i don't know if it will work so try your own if it work on your own it might work on your own so okay so i have gotten it in another phone so let me enter the code given to me five eight five nine four eight click on verification so it worked it worked i'm even surprised it worked so for you to 
you can use another phone if it did not work for you to copy the the code you can use another phone to generate this um otp authenticator is like generating steady 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 so you can you can turn this on or you can leave it this way but for security purpose just turn it on but for me i'm going to turn don't require otp on this browser i'm going to turn it on if you like you just leave it that way so you click on got it you click on this so with this you have turned on to step verification using Aut um, authenticator app you are going to be using the authenticator app to do this so i use this phone this phone i use i make sure that the phone is not doing amazon kdp for me to able to be able to scan this so as you can see they have one app in road so this is what amazon kdp is trying to do now you can disable this you can enable it if you like you can disable it if you don't want this wahala if you don't want but for security purpose just enable it but if you don't want it you can disable it some people are doing that so with this i believe that all these things i have set i have set up a new amazon kdp so let's go back to our browser to check if we have actually opened a new kdp account so go back to a new tab go back to a new tab then you type in kdpamazon.com then you click on the first site so the app is still generating otp it's continuously generating otp so they might ask you to enter another otp so click on sign in so as you can see we are in our dashboard again so click on update now so as you can see the two-step verification for that is for added security please enter the one time password blah 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 by an authenticator app you see it is no more phone number so what you are going to do you go to the authenticator app the authenticator app is generating um, otp like with time so authenticator app then click on sign in so as you can see i think yes we have done it we did it we did it i have opened a new kdp account using that method so what you are going to do is to update your account details using the the previous video that i have made how to add your account just you know what to do it here just in put everything then save and that's all and at this time we have opened a new kdp account thank you for watching please do well to subscribe to my channel for more detailed information about amazon kdp thank you